Hey guys, uh, Chris back with another Top Down Review, and today we're going to talk about Bright. So Bright is the Netflix original movie starring Will Smith and Joel Edgerton. And basically it follows these two cops that live in this alternate version of Earth where sort of mystical creatures inhabit um, the city of Los Angeles and the rest of the world. And basically it follows these two cops. One is a human and one is an orc and they're partnered together. And their job is to basically just get along in this city while they're trying to investigate this whole thing about a wand. And these people that can control wands are called brights. And they're investigated by the FBI and are put away if they use it for some reason. It seems really silly me explaining it, which is what this movie is. Off the bat, I have to say, Will Smith and Joel Edgerton have no chemistry at all in this movie. Like, no chemistry, and I will explain to you why. One, Will Smith is Captain Deflection the whole movie, and I am not sugarcoating it. Literally, every attempt that Joel Edgerton makes to... To form some sort of bond or some sort of communication, Will Smith shoots down every time. And I get it, it's his character. But, I mean, at some point during this movie, he could have at least formed some bond. I mean, the only bonding that these two make at all during the movie is probably, like, when they're in some sort of rundown gas station and Will Smith has been shot and he's just, and Joel Edgerton's just like, are we friends? And he's just like, you don't want me as a friend. And then at the end of the movie, they're just like, we're still not friends and everything. And it's like... Neither of them have changed. I think Joel Edgerton's character has somewhat changed by the end of this movie, but Will Smith's character still hasn't changed at all by the end of this movie. It seems like he's still that orc-hating person, but he can somewhat stand Joel Edgerton. And somehow this movie is getting a sequel, because people actually watch this. Now, I watched it just for the curiosity of you people who also watched it and want to know your thoughts on it as well as mine but i don't see how this movie gets a sequel i don't even know what they're going to do in a sequel literally the whole conflict is just them getting a wand and as soon as will smith and you know that will smith was going to pick up the freaking wand because you saw the trailer of him picking up a wand and then joel edgerton magically says oh wow you must be a bright too because you can pick up this wand too how freaking convenient for the plot that he can pick up a wand and not shatter to pieces. Even though we know, going back into the story at the very beginning, they say anyone who is not a bright, if you pick up this wand, you will shatter into a million pieces. I think it would have served the story better if when Will Smith had picked up the wand, he would have shattered into pieces. How does a random dude who has never picked up a wand before in his life Magically pick this thing up and basically his orc partner cop says, oh, you must be a bright because you picked up this wand. Wow, how convenient, dude. How freaking convenient for you that you just happen to pick up this wand at the exact time when the moment demands it. It's just because of that. It just it doesn't. Also, they swear an exceedingly a much, exceeding, exceedingly too much in this movie. Way too much. I mean, I understand it, Okay. They're trying to go for a hard R, but you're on Netflix, man. If this was an R-rated actual movie in the theater, I could see that, but it's, it's too overly... It's way way too much, and it it's never needed. They say fuck way too much. I mean, I think Wolf of Wall Street, who I think holds like the second record movie to say fuck in it, I think, said fuck more... And when it, they said it in that movie, it way made more sense than when they say it in this movie. I mean, really. Other than that, I mean, really, those two guys basically carry this whole movie. Everyone else you don't give a fuck about. There's, like, this elf dude who works in the FBI and his partner, who we see in, like, maybe three scenes, who I thought were going to have more of a f impact in this movie, but literally do absolutely nothing. Then you have Numi Rapace's character, who's like the witch, and she just wants her wand back, and she takes down a couple guys, and that's pretty cool, but other than that, she does nothing for this movie, and then there's her sister, who are basically being escorted by Will Smith and Joel Edgerton, who does nothing for this movie. I mean, really, no offense to David Ayer, and I know he's a good director. I've seen him direct good shit, end of watch, and 
Fury, great movies. This, don't know what happened to it, okay? I thought it was a pretty interesting concept. They were trying to do some sort of race behind it and trying to make it seem relevant to today, but obviously it falls to pieces. It just seems that there's not enough explanation. And they keep going around all around about this Dark Lord. Oh, the Dark Lord is coming back. There's always a fucking Dark Lord when it comes to this science fiction mumbo-jumbo stuff. There's always a Dark Lord. But it's not really explained like how this universe formed, why orcs are still here, what this whole war was about. At least that's something Lord of the Rings did way better. At least it establishes there was a war, and then it tells you that there this war was fought over the principles of freeing this earth, and then there's a ring, and then the ring gets lost, and it's found by the golem, and then the golem loses it, and then it ends up in Bilbo's hands, and then that starts the whole Lord of the Rings. At least that has an established premise around it. This has nothing. Just says that there's a war, then there's a cop, he gets shot, and then there's Joel Edgerton's character, which they all are trying to push him out of the department just because he's an orc and everything because of race and all that and all it's it's all over the place it's scatterbrained and it makes me really disappointed that they're making a sequel of this when there are tons of movies that deserve a sequel ah sherlock holmes 3 yeah really i mean you, you can say what you want about that movie but it definitely deserves a sequel more than this does hands down but i digress um let me know what you guys thought about bright um if you thought that Will Smith did a good job, or Joel Edgerton good, did a good job, or if you just have a better idea for where this movie could do, go in a sequel. Sometimes that happens. You know, sometimes this there'll be a movie that's really bad, and then sometimes the sequel will do exceedingly better. That happened in Ouija. That happened in Annabella. Will that happen for this? I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the writer will see will listen to the people that watch the movie and understand why this movie did bad and maybe in turn write a better script for the sequel than the 